Welcome to Gadget Blues. This is KC, and today we are taking a look at Shimano road chainring generations and cross compatibility. There's been a lot of misinformation on forums I've seen about bolt patterns being different and uh, chains not being compatible between the different crank sets and so forth, and I want to clear that up. This is especially a hot topic because backward compatibility is really important right now due to supply chain issues at the time of filming. It's very difficult to get the 12 speed crank sets and impossible to get the 12 speed chain rings by themselves. So a lot of people want to know if they can use their old cranks with the new 12 speed Shimano road group sets. So here I've got a set of 9,000 chain rings, a set of 9,100 chain rings, a set of 9,200 12 speed chain rings. We've got the 9,200 crank set. We've got a 9,000 crank set. And just for grins, we've got the Power to Max 4S hub with the all-do crank. Of course, we also have 11 and 12 speed chains. Now, while a lot of this stuff doesn't measure that differently in proportions, the chains absolutely do. The 11 speed chain is about 5.6 millimeters on the outside and four millimeters on the inside, where the new 12 speed chains, well, relatively new because these are using the same 12 speed chain as the XTR 12 speed mountain group. But anyway, the, the 12 speed chain is about 3.75 on the inside and 5.15 on the outside. So definitely narrower than the old chain, both inner and outer. With the narrower chain on the inside, you would expect that the new 9200 chain rings would have narrower teeth. And it's difficult to measure these because of their conical shape. But all the measurements I've taken and eyeballing with one chain ring right next to the other, I can't tell any difference between the size of the teeth on the 12 speed chain ring and the previous 11 speed chain rings. There is absolutely a different cut on each tooth which benefits the new chain. So you're gonna get better shifting both with the uh, different cutting on the teeth as well as the different lift points on the new 12 speed chain rings. That means the answer to backward and forward compatibility is like so many technical things, yes and no. You can absolutely use the old 11 speed chain rings on the 12 speed chain and group set, but it's not going to shift quite as well. The good news is though, that because of looking at these teeth and finding them to not really be any different than the previous teeth in terms of size, it doesn't look like you're going to get any excess chain wear with the 12 speed chain on the old 11 speed chain rings. So let's take a look at chain ring compatibility between crank sets. Measuring the mounting bosses on the 9200 crank set and the 9000 crank set, they're exactly the same thickness. So even though there is a minor difference in the distance between the small and the big ring on the new 12 speed chain rings. That difference is entirely in the chain rings themselves and not in the crank set bosses. The 12 speed chain rings are about two millimeters closer together. That's another factor that's going to make the shifting a little bit crisper on a 12 speed group set with the 12 speed chain rings, but it's not a deal breaker to use the old 11 speed chain rings. Now let's take a look at which chain rings from Shimano you can mount on which crank set. Now all of this advice applies equally to the same generations of Ultegra. We're looking at Dura Ace, but it applies to Ultegra as well. The only real difference is on the 12 speed group sets, you can't get the new 5440 chain ring size in Ultegra. You only have 5034 and 5236 in Ultegra, whereas on 12 speed, Dura Ace, you get 5034, 5236, and 5440, which replaces the old 5339. The first big rumor I want to dispel is that the different chain ring generations have different bolt spacing. They absolutely do not. You can line them right up and they match perfectly across the board between all three generations. There is no difference in the bolt spacing. The only compatibility difference is with the sculpturing of these pieces here and how they fit on each different crank set. 
First, let's look at backward compatibility. We'll take the 9000 crank set. Obviously, the 9000 chain rings work on it, so we aren't going to show that. Let's take the 9100 chain rings. And they fit. They fit just fine. The only thing is cosmetically, obviously it doesn't match in either color or the alignment of this piece here, which might have a minor impact on the stiffness of the crank because these surfaces aren't perfectly mated, but 99% of the strength is in the bosses and the bolts themselves not in this structure. So mainly it's a cosmetic issue. That cosmetic issue continues with the new 9200 12-speed chain rings, which do fit on the 9000 crank set. In fact, it looks a little bit better than the 9100 chain rings. It's still cosmetically mismatched, but at least it's symmetrically cosmetically mismatched. The only real downside here besides the appearance is, of course, you're going to collect dirt, especially if you're using this in a gravel or a winter situation down in these little gaps and it's going to be hard to get those out. But other than that, it fits just fine. I don't have a 9100 crank set here, but I assume that it is going to work just the same. We've got a little visit from our feline friend Oliver here, who's checking out the parts. He likes to see himself on TV. <laughs> Conversely, there is no forward compatibility. You absolutely cannot fit either the 9000 or the 9100 chain rings on the new 9200 crank set. It will not fit. Looking at third party crank set compatibility, this is the Power to Max 4S. Four meaning four holes instead of uh, five BCD. Since this has exactly the same four hole spacing across generations, all three chain rings will work on this third party crank set. Just fine. The same is true for other third-party power meter spiders that use a plain circle with four bolt holes, but not for the cork four bolt power meters, which use the same sculpturing as Shimano. So they'll have the same issues with the sculpturing compatibility and cosmetic match as the actual Shimano crank sets. In conclusion, what we've learned is A, you can put the new chain rings on the old crank sets with some cosmetic issues. And you can also use the old chain rings and crank sets with the 12 speed. It looks like it won't cause significant difference in chain wear, but you will have better shifting running 12 speed group sets on the 12 speed chain rings because A, uh, they are closer together by about two millimeters. And B, they have tooth shape and ramp positions optimized for the new 12 speed group sets. I'm building a new bike using the 9270 group set and I'll be using these 9100 1139 chain rings because at the moment as time of filming, you can't get the 5440 either the crank set or the chain rings by themselves because of those supply chain issues. So in the meantime, I'll be running the 5339s and waiting anxiously to get the new 12 speed chain rings for a little bit better shifting. That's about it for today. I hope this clears up some of the misinformation surrounding the Shimano chain ring compatibility for those of you lucky enough to get your hands on one of the new 12 speed road group sets. Get out there and beat some PRs. And we'll see you in the next Gadget Blues.